I've been steadily working on my Hermitcraft base for a few weeks now. However, it is time to reveal exactly what I have planned for it, and the inspiration trip that I took to help me build it. Alright, the car's doing most of the driving so I can have a little chat. So, we're going to York now, and what I've got in mind for my base is essentially, if you've ever seen the Harry Potter movies, there's a street in London called Diagon Alley, and it's full of oldie time shops that are all leaning which ways or whatever, and basically imagine that inside a cave. Now, I know what you're thinking. One, you're a massive Harry Potter nerd, which is true, and two, you're doing this just so you don't have to build the back, which is also true. So, in York, there's a street which a lot of people think that Diagon Alley is based on called The Shambles. In fact, there are so many shops there that are kind of Harry Potter themed that it's become a bit of an unofficial fan hotspot. Now, I've never been there, but I really want to go and have a look and see what these shops look like in real life so I can take some photos, get some inspiration, and hopefully it will help me build my base inside the cave. The trip to York took quite a long time, but it gave me plenty of opportunity to think about exactly what I wanted out of this trip. And when we got there, I wasn't disappointed. Fortunately for us, we were staying in an apartment that was on the actual street itself. And what I didn't realise was on the top floor you get this really nice view of the alleyway itself. And it's a little bit busy at the moment and I want to take some pictures with no one around. So we're either going to have to wait until it's very late or we're going to have to wait, wake up very early, which I'm not looking forward to. But I have got a very unique view that you cannot get down on the ground of all the little roof lines that are all a total mess and it's absolutely beautiful. So I want to get a few pictures of this before we go and take pictures of the actual street. 4am rolled round and it was time to get up and start taking some photos of the real life Diagon Alley. So I went and walked around and fortunately there was no one there whatsoever. And I've got to tell you, it was really nice. It gave me such an amazing amount of inspiration. I got to walk from top to bottom, bottom to top, with absolutely no one there except a couple of pigeons. There are loads of different things about this street that make it special. A mixture of influences from decades of building and people going there. It might be a tourist hotspot now, it still hold vestiges of its former medieval roots. All of these overhanging buildings, the windows being crooked and different sizes, houses that are on a slant, and most importantly, shop fronts with huge window sills. The cobbled street and everything else gave me exactly what I wanted out of this trip. And I managed to snag just a couple of photos that I think really sum up what I was looking for. But after I got these photos, it was pretty much time to drive home. So we've now done our Yorkshire trip. We went and saw the shambles. It was amazing. It was exactly what I hoped it would be. We, uh, I got a really nice feeling the first time I went down it. It was, um, it felt like I was going through Diagon Alley. So I've got some really amazing inspiration and I really paid a lot of attention to some of the details about what made that street feel the way it did. So hopefully I've got everything I need to get going on my Hermitcraft base, but for now I'm pretty tired, so I think I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. <laughs> 